Hi guys and girls, how are you all doing today? Welcome to another episode of Random Taste Test. Random Taste Test. I knew you were going to say something right there because you always do. Yeah, that's right. And welcome Seth Colton to Random Taste Test. I'm so happy to be here today. Yeah? You know, all of you guys at home, I don't know if you're aware of this, but Paul and I are good friends. And then I hired him to work for me at an old job and I introduced him to somebody else named Grant and he stole Paul from me basically. Uh, and now, I don't know about that. Paul invites Grant to do all the fun stuff. <laughs> so today I'm back. You of course you must be fighting with Grant. Uh, you may recognize he wasn't available. Seth from Car Chat. Car Chat. You were so on good. Talking about Obsessed. My web series Obsessed. Yes. But which, by the way, is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna talk about it more later. Thanks. But first, we are here to do something totally different. It's totally. Uh, what are we sampling today, Seth? We went to BK Burger King. And we got, can we show it? Yeah. Fruit Loop Shakes. Fruit Loops Milkshake. And Fruit you know, milkshakes. you know why I wanted to have you on the show for this. It wasn't I just know. that you were the only person available. I really? specifically picked you for a reason. Okay, why? Because you love milkshakes. I do love milkshakes. This is true. You get so happy I when do. milkshakes are involved. I'm pretty, pretty stoked. Let me give you a disclaimer right now. Today, I have a cold, so I might sound a little weird. So if I put this straw down my throat, it might hurt a little bit. I also have hemorrhoids, so I can't stick the straw up my butt either, no. like I normally would when I drink a shake. Real talk. that would hurt. Um, but I'm excited you thought about me for this. Absolutely. Oh, by the way, there are planes. I live near an airport, so deal with just, it. Just forgive us. So you're gonna use the. I'm also fasting today to heal faster. So. If I drink through the straw, I'm fasting. If I eat it with a spoon, I'm eating. So the straw. Okay. What straw. about you? I'm gonna do the spoon. Okay. So we'll we'll see what happens. Is there here. like a, a tradition? Like do you count down? No. <laughs> you just do it. Okay. Apparently, I'm gonna use the straw because I just killed my spoon. Prepared. Thank you. Um. No, I just I saw I saw this on uh, online somewhere, and I thought it looked weird, and thought it would be good for the. This random is dope. taste test. I've never even heard of this before. Well, it just came out today. The first, yeah, we were first in line. So, so let's let's give this a shot. Now, I'll be honest with you, I'm not a big um, breakfast cereal fan, so oh, I don't really man. know. Um, breakfast cereal is the best. I don't really know if I'm gonna like this or not, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Good. I'm glad you're adventurous. You're gonna love it. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to you guys. Cheers. know when, if you've ever had Fruit Loops before, or Rice Krispies, when the Rice Krispies get really soggy, you get that weird like soft thing. Yeah. So these are super soggy. Right, so you can see like the chunks of the Fruit Loops in the shake, which... Isn't that the name of your cat? Yes, chunks, not munch. Chunks. Yeah, so if you can see the colorful bits there, those are like wet towels. Yeah, so the, the chunky aspect of it in your mouth is maybe a little bit on the weird side, but boy, is this thing sweet, like sugar overload. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, I'll drink four of these before I go to bed, <laughs> but I, it's not my favorite. Uh, I can definitely taste the Fruit Loops, the sort of cereal vibe coming off of this. Do you think it's with vanilla? Is that vanilla around it? Probably, yeah. Um, I actually don't mind it. I think it's Is not it bad. your favorite? It's definitely not my favorite, but I pretty much expected it to not be my favorite. I'm not a I'm a chocolate guy, so anytime that there's going to be mm -hmm. something vanilla, I'm not going to be crazy about it. But this is really good. Do you guys want us want to watch us drink the whole thing, or they don't like this tuna that long? Yeah, I think I mean you know how slow I do anything, so. I do. Be a 20 you worked for video. me for like three years. I understand. No, we're not going to put anybody through that. We just want to mm. give them their, you know. So anyway, analysis. recommendation: one through ten for me. I'm giving it a four. A four, okay. Which is rough for a milkshake. That is a little on the rough side. Let me give it one more sip here. Hmm. Mm. 
Yeah. Okay. What's your analysis? I'm not going to be quite as harsh. I think it's got a nice flavor to it. I agree with you that the the chunks of the Fruit Loops in there, which I know is kind of the whole point of the milkshake, but the texture of it is um, perhaps slightly off-putting because yeah. you're trying to drink something, but then you also have chunks of like little food in there. Yeah, it's so, like toilet paper. Uh, but I'm gonna go with a six. Whoa, <laughs> that's good. It's like more than halfway good. Yeah, it's not it's not the worst thing I've ever had. Um, before we let you go, mm -hmm. just to prove that I know him better than Grant, I got him a little gift. Do you guys oh. want to see him open it? Oh my gosh. What do you think it could be? I literally have no idea. Maybe something from Austin? Because you were in Austin recently. I was in Austin recently because I won Best Actor in a Film Fest. Probably not many actors applied. Congratulations Thank on you. that. Feels like maybe a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. it, it looks to be a t-shirt. I'm going to show you guys first. It's dope. Oh, man. That's dope. That is super dope. Mm -hmm. Woo! As Ric Flair would say. Thank you very much, Seth. Much appreciated. Welcome, dude. Thanks for having me on your show. You go nicely with some Fruit Loops, you know? Yeah, it actually is perfect. Perfect <laughs> Fruit Loops shirt. That's awesome. Um, this is a limited time thing. If you want to go out there and sample it, give it a shot. I say it's probably worth checking out. Seth, maybe not so much. Mm -mm. Do you think you would order it again? No. <laughs> so I guess it's kind of... You wouldn't order a, something that you give a six. Maybe that's a little too high. But I'm sticking with it. It's hurting my hemorrhoids. <laughs> it's a whole different issue. I'm glad that I don't have to deal with it. But thank you very much for being on Random Taste Test. Thanks, bro, for Boom. having me. This was fun. Thank you guys for tuning in. And if you would watching. like a Ric Flair shirt of your own, just um, drive down to an, an airport and look for me. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on Random Taste Random Test. Taste Test.